and welcome to Baby and Me, a program presented by the Forsyth County Public Library. I'm Miss Holly from the Cumming Branch. If you've been watching our Baby and Me programs, then you're not familiar with the five early literacy practices, which are talk, sing, read, play, and write. I'm willing to bet that you have just naturally been doing these things and incorporating them into your time with baby every day. So good for you. Great job. Be intentional about incorporating these practices into your activities. And the really cool thing about the five early literacy practices is that you can incorporate more than one practice within one activity. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. First, we're going to enjoy a tickle rhyme with baby. For our tiny little one, we're gonna lie them down so that they can look at our face. And we're going to get out a tickle bug and it goes like this. Oh, the tickle bug is tickling your tummy. Yes, the tickle bug is tickling your tummy. And no matter what they say, he will never go away. The tickle bug is tickling your tummy. Oh, the tickle bug is tickling your toes. Yes, the tickle bug is tickling your toes. And no matter what you say, he will never go away. The tickle bug is tickling your toes. And you can use lots of different body parts. Now, what are we getting from this tickle and rhyme with your baby? We're sparking a wonderful interaction between the two of you. First of all, your baby's listening to your beloved voice, listening to you speak, and as you sing, you're slowing down so baby can hear those syllables more clearly. Also, baby's watching your facial expressions, watching how your lips move, and learning new vocabulary as you name those different body parts. But the most fun is your baby's reaction. I bet you're seeing some smiles and a little wiggly body, those arms start waving, and the legs start kicking, and then your baby starts to vocalize. And when this happens, have a conversation. Take it back and forth like this. Really? And then what happened? Is that right? And what did you see? This is just the sweetest thing. So make sure you talk to your baby and or imitate the sounds that they're making. Babies enjoy that too. Okay, now what we're going to do next is combine singing and writing early literacy practices with rhythm sticks. Here's a pair of rhythm sticks that we use at the library for our programs. But I'm going to ask you to go into your kitchen and grab your own rhythm sticks, also known as wooden spoons. They'll work just as well. Now we're gonna sing a song with the rhythm sticks, so your baby's gonna to start to hear some sounds and tempo, but also for writing, as your baby grasps a stick and waves it around, they're working on their grasp. It's a developmental opportunity for baby as they learn to grasp objects, and which will eventually be crayons, markers, pens, pencils, in preparation for learning how to write. Now, when you give your baby a wooden spoon like this, what's the first thing they're going to do? Right, they're gonna put it in their mouth. And that's okay, because that's the primary way that babies explore objects and their surrounding world. They like to mouth things. So keep an eye open, close eye for safety, but it's okay, let your baby explore. So let them wave the sticks around. Help them learn <clears throat> that by tapping them together, we make sound. Now, rhythm sticks do more than tap. They can also slide or scrape, making a different sort of noise. They can jump. They can swish back and forth like windshield wipers. They can slide and they can drum. To practice some of those things, we're going to do a rhythm stick song. The first one is called All the Little Steps, Sticks. And it goes like this. 
All the little sticks are going tappy tappy tap. All the little sticks are going tappy tappy tap. All the little sticks are going tappy tappy tap. That's what they like to do. And then for other verses, have those sticks do other things. Like, all the little sticks are going wrinkle, wrinkle, wriggle. All the little sticks are going wrinkle, wrinkle, wriggle. All the little sticks are going wrinkle, wrinkle, wriggle. That's what they like to do. Now studies show that music just lights up the pathways in baby's brain. And the key to using music to impart literacy skills is repetition. So sing all the time. Sing as you go about your day with your activities. Make up silly songs that just has meaning for the two of you. That will be a sweet memory in the years to come. You don't have to play children's music all the time. Play your own music. Babies will start to like your favorite band. Introduce classical music, all kinds of music. All of this is beneficial to babies brain, language, and literacy development. Another stick song I'd like to share with you is called, And Then They Go to Sleep. If you saw my last Baby and Me program, you may remember how I used rhymes and songs as a fun way to introduce the concept of stop or pause, which will help baby develop impulse control. So with this one, after we do our verse, we put our sticks down and we say, and then they go to sleep, and we make a shh sound. So let's begin. Two little sticks go tap 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 Two little sticks go tap 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 and then they go to sleep. Shh. Okay, we're taking a pause from our activity and then we can begin again. Two little sticks go swish 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 swish, swish. Two little sticks go swish, 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 and then they go to sleep. Shh. Two little sticks go drum, 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 drum. Two little sticks go drum, 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 and then they go to sleep. Shh. And of course you will be adapting the activity to your baby's age and development. <clears throat> As you saw, I was using the sticks. But as your babies are bigger and can move more, either help them or coach them. Have them have, you have a set of sticks, they have a set of spoons, and let them mimic what you're doing. Now I hope when you went out to the kitchen, you also grabbed a pot and maybe a bowl because we are going to make our very own baby band. Help your baby hold the sticks and show them how they can make different sounds by tapping on the pot. And then, let's see what it sounds like to tap on the bowl. Your baby will differentiate between those two sounds. And you're gonna vary the rhythm and the tempo and go back and forth. Now, as they get bigger and stronger, they are going to hold on to these sticks and they are going to drum and make an absolute crescendo. And that's okay because they're going to be learning and those pathways are going to be lighting up. Repetition is key, so keep singing. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you are having a wonderful day today. Goodbye.